Hey gamers, it's me, Shinobi Nando, and welcome to another What's in the Box. Today, if I seem a bit rushed, I am, okay? So we're doing Horizon Zero Dawn, and these things are selling fast, so I need to break them down as quickly as possible. Apologize, I don't have enough time for like my normal intro, or my editing flair, where I kind of, you know, spruce things up a bit. Chibi Nando, what did I just say? We do not have time for this, okay? Just move along. That's it, get out of here. Okay, thank you, let me continue with the video. That's right, once again, we're doing Horizon Zero Dawn. I will be breaking down what I think of each edition, how much they cost, where's the best place to get them. So let's start with the standard edition. Available for pre-ordering at any retailer is the Nora outfit and Nora spear pack. Here you can see Aloy using it in game. This is a homage to her original tribe in the first game, Horizon Zero Dawn, and is available, like I said, everywhere. That is the standard edition. Now, next up, we have a special and a digital deluxe edition. I'll break down both starting now. Now, come on, we, I, we've already, we gotta keep the video going. In the Horizon Forbidden West special edition, you get this steel book, mini art book, and the previously mentioned Nora Spear Pack. In the digital deluxe version of the game, you get the Horizon Forbidden West digital PS4, PS5 game, two special outfits, the Karja Behemoth Elite, and Nora Thunder Elite, two special weapons, the Karja Behemoth Shortbow and the Nora Thunder Sling, in-game resources, the Apex Claustrator Machine Strike Piece, an exclusive photo mode pose and face paint, the digital art book, the digital soundtrack, and the digital version of the Sunhawk, the first Horizon Zero Dawn graphic novel. The special edition version of the game seems available at most major retailers, such as Amazon, GameStop internationally, EB Games in Canada and Oceana, Game here in the UK, Shop 2, pretty much anywhere you can buy a physical version of the game seems to be doing this. As for the digital deluxe edition, this is of course exclusive to the PlayStation Store. So there you go, if you prefer to own your games digitally or if you have the PS5, the digital only console go for the digital deluxe now normally i do include links to cd keys which quite often have like 20 to 50 percent off as the lawsuit against sony at the time of recording isn't resolved sony still have the monopoly and very often third parties cannot discount or sell the codes at a discount only sony can do that themselves on the playstation store so i'm sorry there it is what it is it is the price that you see you'll have to pay that or wait till a later date when sony do their own discount next up we have the first of two statute editions yes two that's right that's why we have to rush this video and the first one is the collector's edition and the horizon forbidden west collector's edition you get once again the mini art book and steel book however this time the game comes as a digital code you get all the previously mentioned digital deluxe edition dlc and you get this replica tremor tusk statue with mini aloy figure the collector's edition in the uk is exclusively available at game in europe i found it available on gamestop's international store speaking of gamestop in the us it seems to be available there and best buy in canada it's available at eb games and sorry australian and new zealand fans i haven't been able to find it in your region but please let me know in the comments if you found it yourself and i'll add it to the description so there you go that's the tremor tusk and a mini kind of like warhammer-esque figurine of of alloy to scale with obviously not to scale to scale with the tremor tusk you know what i mean if you wanted something a bit cheaper than the next edition we're going to reveal then go for this one if you're a huge fan i personally missed out on the statue of the first one there is an unboxing for the original limited edition which i probably should have mentioned when i broke down the special edition but anyways i've done it now let's move on to the regala edition now last but not least we have the horizon forbidden west regala edition this comes with a digital version of the game inside the steelbook, a regala-themed custom-sculpted Tremor Tuscan alloy statue, the replica focus with custom stand, two art print cards, the replica Sunwing and Claw Strider machine strike pieces, the mini art book, the canvas map, and the previously mentioned DLC from the digital deluxe edition. Now this once again is available exclusively a game here in the UK, it's available at GameStop and Best Buy in the United States, EB Games Canada, and once again for the Oceana region, I haven't been able to find it for you. Again, let me know in the comments which retailer is doing it if you found one, and I'll update all your collected bros in the description. Now this one is actually the reason why we're kind of 
doing this at a rush pace. I want to really be able to edit this quickly and get it out to you guys. As you could probably tell by the release date of this video, it did not in fact help with the editing. In my country, this is already currently sold out at the only retailer that's doing it, which is Game, which really sucks because this would have been the edition I would have gone for. I, I I love my replicas. You guys can look behind me. They're my favorite collector's editions. So to have the replica focus would have been really, really cool. I, I know there'd be some cosplayers that probably use it or use it to model or 3D print or whatever. We also have some footage of the statue itself from one of the developers over on Twitter. Now, bear in mind, this might be like a pre-production or a prototype. So take it with a pinch of salt, but I'll show it here. The two editions are very, very similar. I personally prefer the Regala just because of the, the replicas and the extra detail on it. One is obviously a, a wild Tremor Tusk in the Collector's Edition and the other one is the kind of controlled one. I don't want to say too much or give away any spoilers. One thing I want to mention if you're picking up the PS4 version of this game, due to the large amounts of backlash to the absolutely ridiculous notion that you had to pay extra to upgrade your edition to the it's a PS5 version when you eventually can find a PS5 somewhere. Sony has backpedaled on this now, and if you buy the PS4 version, you will get a one-off upgrade to the PS5. Now, I know there's going to be those of you rushing to the comments going, well, if you have a PS5, why does it affect you anyways? Let's remember here that at the time of recording, at least, that the PS5 is really, really hard to get a hold of. The stock is incredibly limited. To the point where, like, who knows if in February I will have one myself. So it is now absolutely great to hear that Sony's gone back on this and now we're not going to be charged extra for upgrading to the PS5 version, kind of like we did with Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut. And there probably will be some of you that are wondering like, Ooh, Nando, why did you even bother to break down the Regala Edition if by the time of recording it's already sold out? Well, that's the thing with Collector's Editions. Sometimes they sell out straight away and then people cancel their pre-orders and or they make a second wave. That's exactly what happened to me with Ghost of Tsushima, the mask, the Collector's Edition. So guys, keep an eye out. Those Regala Editions could come back if you do want them. Do what I do. If, if you're ordering online a set, set it where it will notify you when they get stock back. It's, it's a really helpful feature that most retailers do. But yeah, let me know which version you're going for in the game. If you're stuck getting the digital deluxe edition because obviously you got the digital only PS5. Remember when you're writing your comments that I don't work for Sony, that I don't represent Sony. So please don't dislike the video just because of the whole PS4, PS5 backwards compatibility fiasco, which they've now corrected. I'm just Nando, guys. Just I, I just provide you with the information, try to save you a bit of money. I'm, please, please. If you want to check out kind of the quality you're going to get with the special or collector's edition, then please do check out the original Horizon Zero Dawn, limited edition and console edition unboxing. If you're curious about what I meant with Ghost of Tsushima, again, there's a collector's edition unboxing. I don't know why I pointed over there. I'm currently blocking. There, there it is. It's there. And thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.